Okay, let's see if I can clarify what it's talking about when it comes to parallel versus series wiring. Now, we have four speakers that are the exact same, eight ohms each. In this setup, we have series. So we're going positive in, going through the voice coil, negative out, going to the positive in on this voice coil, goes through, comes out. Now, if this was a dual voice coil speaker, these are obviously single voice coils, there's only one voice coil per speaker. If you had dual voice coils, there'd be another set of terminals on this side. In that case, it would still be the same concept. Your voltage would come in, go through the voice coil, come out the negative. That negative would go to the positive end on this voice coil, and then come, you know, go through the voice coil and then come out. And you double, or excuse me, you multiply your ohms uh, depending on how many voice coils you have. So in this case, we have two. So eight ohms times two is 16 and we're at 15.2, so we're just a smidgen low on that, which is fine. Um, no speakers or voice coils are ever really exactly the ohms that they're listed. You know, a four ohm voice coil could be 3.8, 3.9, 4.1, 4.2, all close enough. It's when you get down to like three ohms in a four ohm voice coil that you gotta start to get concerned. Okay, so in parallel wiring, your positives and negatives are in parallel with each other. So, let me bend that guy out of the way. So we have voltage coming in on the positive, goes through this voice coil while simultaneously going through this voice coil, and then the grounds as they both come out are both joined and then flow back out. Uh, in this case, your ohms, and this is where it gets dangerous, is uh, divided by the number of voice coils that you have. So. In the previous example where we had 16 ohms, because we doubled it, or me, multiplied by two, uh, in this case we divide, so if we chest here, we get four ohms. So again, your ohms is divided. Now if I had an eight ohm stable amp, this would fry it reasonably quickly. Uh, I would certainly damage the transistors, the, the MOSFET transistors that are in there. Um, so this is where you have to be careful. Excess ohms, in other words, if you've got a 4 ohm stable amp and you're running 8 ohms, not a problem. The, it's not going to bother it one bit. You won't have as much volume, but it's not going to damage it. Uh, it's when you go under the ohms that it's rated for that you end up with your problem. 